Drop goal to win it. England has beaten Ireland. That's wicked up. The ground slam is gone. Jamie Heaslip, you've a, to, you've a lot to answer for this week. <laughs> yep. You don't turn into a bad team overnight. And we said beforehand, if Ireland control the tempo, they're going to be in a good place. They didn't control the tempo, England did. And, and you have to give credit to England for that. We'll just say it was an off day for Ireland, yeah. won't we? Yeah. Uh, we're very good at winning, uh, as in very gracious at winning. We've got to be very good at losing as well, making sure that we dust ourselves down and come back in to work and, because we've, we have a championship to win next week. Yeah, let's not forget Ireland's still playing for the championship, but no doubt about it, Simon, the air feels a little bit drawn out of uh, everybody a little bit today, doesn't it? Yeah, obviously incredibly disappointed. It's um, not the result we wanted coming from Twickenham. But I think uh, a lot of credit has to go to England. They played really well at the on the day. They disrupted our ruck really well. They disrupted our line-out and they made things really hard for us. And I think we slightly came away from our own game plan at times, maybe kicking for posts when we were used to seeing this Irish team be super clinical and going to the corner and going after tries. And maybe it was the pressure that England had on us. But um, yeah, obviously there was, the result didn't go our way, but we still have a shot at the championship, which is crucial. Yeah, look, that is crucial. And I think that's where the focus will turn as the week comes. But I think it's just the initial disappointment of giving over that, Darren, isn't it? Yeah, and that's the issue with the high expectations, isn't it? The, pl the expectations the players have themselves. Us as the sort of media and fans of Ireland, uh, like we've been spoiled over the last couple of years and we've probably lost the run of ourselves a little bit at times. Uh, it doesn't feel that long ago back to back Six Nations in I think 14 and 15 and we were shouting from the rooftop now that we're staring down the, bar uh, the, the barrel at that and it's almost a little bit disappointing. For me, the, the big thing is I think it just highlights and reminds us all how difficult it is to win a Grand Slam. I think we knew that. But just coming out of yesterday, I think, um, as I said, we've been really spoilt. It's such a difficult thing to do. There's a reason it's never been done twice before. And Ireland, we're close to doing it. But uh, unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Yeah, and sadly now we're all eating humble pie, I'm sure, for you. It's been a rough 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, Mystic Mike here got it wrong. Uh, but, you know, all the signs beforehand were pointing to... You know, a, a dominant Irish team inside and, and, and facing against an inconsistent England side. But, um, you know, England outscored Ireland three tries to two. You know, you rarely see that Ireland are kind of conceding one try on average per game before this. Um, and, and the credit has to go to England. And, I, and you know, that's that, that old phrase of defence wins you championships. You know, and they're now in the running for a championship, but it was the defence that won them the game yesterday and negated a lot of Ireland's kind of attacking threats. You mentioned there, Simon, that they went away from their game plan. Why is it when we're watching from the outside, we're used to Ireland going to the corner, the big push that that has. But yesterday... Maybe they weren't let do it, but it seemed 369. It's a long time since we saw Ireland playing that way. Yeah, I, I think it's the pressure that England had, a, had us under um, made us do those things and go to the, uh, or not go to the corner. I think, yeah, we're just not used to seeing halfway line kicks. You know, those kicks with the, the risky percentages. We're used to seeing that Irish team go down the line and, you know, get them all going, get their three-phase three attack plays going off their uh, set piece. But... I think the credit has to go to England. They, they made a mess of our ruck ball and, and our line-out struggled at times. They got some scores off of that. And, yeah, they just had us under the squeeze. They had us under pressure. And maybe we just reverted away from what we're used to seeing this Irish team do. It's just it's amazing to watch that happen to an Irish team because it's a very long time since we've seen them put under that kind of pressure. Even the New Zealand game aside, which was very different kind of pressure. Yeah, and the, the pub chat, you know, uh, being at the game yesterday and on the way home was about... You know how Ireland managed the end of the game. People talking about referees' decisions, but really, I, I mean, I agree with Simon. If you look at that game across 80 minutes, yeah. I don't think it would have been a travesty if Ireland had a won. But like what we used to from this Ireland team and some of the stats, so none of the Irish forwards carried the ball 10 times. Um, they had eight line breaks. We had two. They had 60% territory, 55% possession. They carried the ball for 522 metres. We were, we were under half that. Yeah. So it wasn't a bite how... Listen, if we managed the game differently then, we would have won. But it wouldn't have papered up the fact that for some reason we just did not or weren't allowed to uh, get the flow to that attack and what we're used to seeing. It just didn't happen yesterday. Uh, I think for Ireland, it's when you're presented with uh, a defence like that again, 
how do you get better and how do you respond better? And from England point of view, they had a plan to disrupt us. I thought it would be through being really uh, like scruffy. And when I saw the weather conditions were good, I thought they don't have a chance. They really disrupted us, and I think they deserve a lot of credit for that. Is that the worrying thing, Jamie, that people can attach themselves to that last five minutes and say, oh, but Ireland was still in the game, but they were actually outplayed for the whole game yesterday? England were the better team on the day for the majority of the game. I think no one has any argument with that. And it was smart, because when you look at Ireland, we score most of our points in kind of the second and fourth quarters of the game. We score most of our tries either from first phase attack or where we go six plus phases. And then we score, you know, the source of a lot of our tries comes from our line out. England, with the, with the, with the rush defence from Felix, they had another extra two, two weeks to kind of bed that in even further. You know, definitely negated a lot of that. Didn't allow us to go to multi-phase attack. Uh, even when we did score some really good tries, it was in the corner, so it's difficult to convert and they didn't leak through the middle. With that kind of defence, if you leak through the middle, particularly with an Irish side, they'll punish you. They didn't allow any of that. They were really, really clean. Um, and then they attacked our line-out. Um, actually, Ben Earl's try comes from our line-out where it, it, I think it's overthrown or, or disrupted, and he gets it, makes a line break, they go a couple of phases, penalty advantage, he gets the try. And when you hear Andy, they're kind of the controllables that they will have to look at and will have to work on. Um, because you know when you think of the New Zealand game, New Zealand did something similar where they, they didn't, they, they kind of let us go to the edge. They didn't let us come through the middle. And we, we took it, um, but they were able to kind of always get back on side and, and, and shut it down and not really give op, uh, Ireland options. And they kind of overplayed at times. Um, and, but again, and come back to England, credit where, where it's due. Also, the challenge they had was actually getting return on, on entries into the 22. And, and they, they took them. They, they, they worked, they orchestrated some really, really good tries. And you've you got to give them credit for that. But... Um, I mean, I said it there yesterday, you know, Ireland aren't a bad team overnight, but the flip side is that England aren't a great team overnight, by the way. They now, OK, it's a, it's, it's a good win for them, but they have to consistently deliver that to kind of get, to back, to, get back to where they were as, as one of the, 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 the good sides in, in world rugby. And, and a one-off victory won't do it, but they have the bragging rights for today. Definitely over me. I was known about that <laughs> well for the last 24 hours. <laughs> I got that sense. So flip the page then, Simon. How do they take those learnings that Jamie says? And first of all, go and win a championship, which I think is going to be really important to this team, but also sort of take that next step. You know, find a way to get around that blitz defence because they're going to come up against this again. You can... Bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, I think they'll be in control of what they can fix for sure. They'll look at some of the opportunities they had in phase play to get outside as opposed to, you know, stepping back in or giving that inside pass because that just encourages the English poachers, their counter ruckers. It just brings them into the game and gives them life and it slows down our attack ball. Or, um, so I think they'll look at that a lot, the phase play attack and also set piece as well where, where we didn't just seem to have a hold on it. So... A lot to, lot to improve on, but this team is humble in defeat. They know yeah. what that they have to work hard at, what they have to work at, and um, I'm sure they'll be licking their lips at the thought of Scotland coming to town next week. Yeah, right. Last brief word. Yeah, I just think, uh, first up, try and put away Scotland. Second up, it's when you can't get the flow to your attack, you need to be able to rely on your maul and your set piece, and you need to kick better, because you can't, you know, this fancy attack's not going to work for you. That'll be the big challenge for Ireland. Yeah.